What is up guys, Grizzlyman here, and welcome back to another episode here on the Oak and Stone server. As you can see, we are inside the house right now. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to put this on here. Boom. Okay. So, I know it's not that, that special, but I wanted to get a whole uh, gold armor, ar ar uh, armor stand. Uh, all enchanted. Uh, so I got the boots, the pants, and now I've got the helmet. Um, now I just need the chest piece. I could probably just go through like the skelly grinder and just find a enchanted chest. But it, what I'm actually doing is I'm just fighting mobs and sometimes you can get these. So once I get the chest plate, that's what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to put it here. Um, before I get started on anything else other than that, uh, I wanted to give a shout out to Tad. He gave me a pick. Um, what happened before I started recording, I came in here and my internet, as you guys know, has been kind of bipolar lately. Um, <laughs> maybe you guys haven't noticed yet, but uh, my internet has been fluctuating quite a bit recently and even though I just got it upgraded and stuff uh, the one I use is kind of outdated so it, it's running on old software and old equipment so it's still kind of eh but uh, what happened was I went on a death spree pretty much and <laughs> it was bad I lost the one pick that I had that was uh, Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 4 and then I made another one to replace it because I lost that one in lava uh, and I went I made a new one and I lost that uh, due to just death just a death run pretty much um, and Tad was nice enough and he had extras that he got me this one which has got Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, and Fortune 3. Now that's going to come in handy because I'm going to be going off camera most likely. I'm going to be going on a diamond spree trying to find as many diamonds as I can. So that's going to help me a lot uh, with the fortune. So yeah, that thanks to him. Um, check him out there in the description below as well as all the other oak and stoners because they are all quite amazing and quite a lovely bunch of people uh, I've also got the storage room done mm, see you Ted uh, so I've got the storage room done um, I haven't completely organized yet but I did have time to do the cobble and stone and just that that kind of stuff so I've got that done. Um, as you saw, I've got paintings and I've tried to decorate the house a little bit more. Um, not much, but it's coming along uh, slowly but surely. And I hear a skelly. Where's the skelly? Come on. I'm getting a lot of mobs around here lately. I don't know why. Probably because it's not lit up. Actually, it's probably because they're over there because I haven't lit that up. And a lot of this area out here I haven't lit up, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so what, what have I been doing other than that stuff? Um, I got a horse. Yes, I went to uh, Oats Horse House, and I got a I bought a horse from them, so that was nice. Cause oh, I forgot to show you guys, uh, I went caving, and I forgot to show you guys what I found. Cause I got some pretty cool stuff. All right, uh, right here. I completely walked past it. 
So here's what I got from a whole one time mining trip. Um, so I got this stuff here. I actually had uh, four di no, sorry. I had three diamonds here and then I had two over there. No, I had four total because uh, I used three to make the pick. So I had four total and then that's the one that I've left with. Uh, as you guys can see here, boom, 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 boom. I went and where I was mining, I found a dungeon and I also found a mine shaft. Um, and the mine shaft I got uh, quite a lot of stuff actually. Um, there were three minecart with chests uh, pretty much right next to each other. Actually all right next to each other. And I got a depth strider 3 which is going to be really handy. Um, so I might do something with that. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to be doing something with water so that that's going to be good. Uh, pumpkin and melon seeds. Uh, something I haven't done anything with on 1.9 is beetroot seeds. Um, this was one of the new things that they added in 1.9 and I haven't done anything with it so it'll be kinda cool to plant that and start a farm with that. Um, in the dungeon actually I got the gold apple uh, which is quite a rare find I think. Uh, either this one or the notch apple I think is the rares. Uh, name tags and I got the iron and gold horse armor from that but that's pretty much it for that stuff um, but on to what I was actually going to do this episode other than sleep because it might be getting nighttime and that's not a good thing because of what we're gonna do what we are going to do today is we are going to be finding the base that, or the place where I want to do my base. Yeah, sorry if I'm sniffling a little bit. Um, I still got some allergies going around with springtime. Oh my! You guys hear that? That that's a thunderstorm right there. That is a thunderstorm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be looking for the place where I'm gonna do my main base. Uh, pretty much where I'm going to be spending the rest of my time here on Oak and Stone, most likely. Um, so it's going to be pretty big, uh, big projects over there. And I got to find. Uh, da, 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 da. Just mob drops up here because I have nothing else for them. Um, I need to make torches uh, while I'm at it here. That's yeah, redstone. Good thing I didn't make those. <laughs> Alright, I got some torches. I got a shield now. Calm down out there. Come on now. I'm trying to make a video here. Uh, I'll deal with that stuff off camera. Uh, but this, I'm actually going to be framing it. Uh, I'm not going to use it. Uh, I just want to frame it. Well, actually, no, I might use that um, when I do a wither fight for beacon. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm actually gonna frame it. No, I'm just gonna frame it because that that's kind of a cool find to find in a dungeon, and so yeah. And I think it's night, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, it is night. Okay. Yeah, uh, Tad actually wanted to just have me give him wood uh, but I gave him two gold blocks cuz I mean a diamond pick with fortune 3 and a breaking 3 and f efficiency no 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 you're not just getting wood for that <laughs> come on now um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna cut here um, it's probably gonna be a journey uh, unless I find something interesting or I think of something to talk about uh, I will see you guys in just a little bit when I try and find something alright I'll see you guys then alright so I've been gone for about a thousand blocks now 
um, from the ice spikes biome because uh, that's where I went from um, what I'm looking for pretty much and this might actually work <laughs> maybe oh yeah. oh maybe I'm not sure I'm not sure if this will work yet um, so so uh, I guess I can tell you guys what I'm kinda looking for here uh, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a large biome um, kinda like this I guess um, that's far enough away from anyone else because what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to be taking a entire biome and making a entire kingdom and maybe actually doing like a couple rival kingdoms or something like that uh, in this one or maybe two biomes depending on how big they are and how close um, and I'm going to be doing uh, first of all I'm going to be doing an underground bunker um, that's where I'm going to be basically starting off first because that's going to be where I get most of my resources for that build so I'm looking for a gigantic biome in which I can just take everything that I want from it and uh, not have to worry about anyone else coming into contact with it and I'll be making quite a large uh, substantial uh, kingdom in this part and this might indeed be where I go. Uh, I'll wait till day to actually explore it. Um, what I'll do is I'll wait out this day and I will be back and we might explore it together. Uh, I think I've got enough stuff here to really give me a chance to so I will see you guys when daybreak comes. Alright so that has been the longest six minutes of my entire life <laughs> just sitting here looking at the screen waiting for it to be daytime um, and it looks like we've already got some visitors here uh, let's take care of these guys shall we uh, that guy disappeared I think come on yeah they despawned huh weird Anywho, I won't complain. Uh, let's get our, let's get our boat, uh, just in case things don't be as nice as I thought they would be, so we can travel again. All right. Um, so I took a look around also as well, also as well. Yes, good English. <laughs> Oh, do not let me die here. No, 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 no. Do not let me die here. Okay. Alright, that was odd. Uh, we got chickens. We got another creeper. Ooh, okay. I'm getting I'm getting careless here and it's not good for me. So I'm gonna start trying to take it a little easy here. Um I got a cave there. So what I'm kinda looking for here is this this type of thing here. We've got a nice large biome uh, as it appears. Uh, for me to expand and build kingdoms and rule the entire world or this ocean I should say and it goes further back that way as well uh, trying to get back there is gonna be a pain in the buns but I shall proceed through 
So it looks like it, it goes on for quite a while. I'm gonna heal and try not to take as much damage as possible. Because I am like four or sorry, like a thousand maybe close to like two thousand blocks away from the nearest por portal. And if I die out here, there is no chance I'm getting my stuff back. So, I am going to be on my game while talking to you. Which is very hard to do. Trust me, I know. <laughs> but, um, hmm. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Let's, let's check this area out. I think this is where I am going to be building my stuff. Because uh, I was looking around and that would be like a perfect thing for like a sky temple or something like that. Because it's got a nice floating island. Uh, get back here, boat. I need you. I don't want to get stranded on the island. But that would be kind of cool for a like floating sky city or temple or something like that. Uh, this most definitely might work for me. Yeah, I think so. And I think this is all untouched land, uh, which is good for me because that means also that all the resources are here and I do not have to worry at all about uh, fighting for resources among someone else. So that's going to be nice. That's going to be a plus for me. Um, the only other thing that I can think of that I really... It's not a must, but it would definitely be a like. Um, I would like to be able to find a dungeon while caving. And that would definitely send it over the top. Uh, but I think this is definitely going to be... Uh, where I start work on my all my future builds here um, quite uh, expansive island and who knows um, what I might even try and do is get um, one of the other guys here and maybe do some kind some kind of like collaboration city uh, where Oh, it's even got a taiga. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to do like a collaboration city somewhere uh, here. And maybe do like um, maybe a city for each member here. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, it seems like this, bio this place is big enough for it. So, we'll definitely see. Uh, but I think I got a lot of, pl uh, a lot of plans. Uh, for this stuff because I do plan uh, the server's been up for quite a while so I don't think it's going to go away uh, like Couchcraft did which means um, that I will be able to get this done um, which is going to be good because I really hated the fact that I couldn't get the kingdom done on Couchcraft um, I even got the backup world, but I decided not to even try because what happened was the backup world got uh, the the file that I got was the wasn't the most recent update updated map, so it, it lost uh, all the progress for the mine and also the gate, which was a really big turnoff for me. Um, so. It, it definitely was something that I really wanted to do and yeah this is definitely gonna be where I go <laughs> just look at this view okay uh, this is gonna be the screenshot thumbnail time and I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here uh, what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm probably gonna find uh, wherever I'm gonna start digging uh, first of all I'm probably gonna go caving and then uh, if I find something 
of interest, I'll probably record it, uh, i.e. dungeons or mine shafts or anything like that. Uh, let's let's take a screenshot here. Um, F5 mode. Oh, you saw inside me. Uh, let, let's take the helmet off. I like doing the helmet stuff. All right. Here we go. Uh, we've got that F2. All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, now that we've got that done. But I think that's where we're going to end it here. I haven't even been keeping time. Uh, so I don't know exactly how long this video has gone. But hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of off-camera work here. And getting stuff kind of up to speed on episode stuff. Um, so yeah, if you guys liked it, please leave a like. Helps me out very, very much. Also, if you are new to the channel, subscribe for more content. I will be hopefully being able to put out three videos a week now. Uh, with my uploads being a little bit faster. So hopefully I'll be able to get three videos a week to you guys. If not... Um, I'm sorry, but I can only do so much. So, but that's it. Uh, I'm not going to keep talking. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.